few questions. We only have a few minutes left, so I'm going to go through these pretty quickly, Dr. Nagasaka. Uh, there's one that, that we do want to remind people that seritinib is not something we recommend after crizotinib or entracinib. Um, that, you know, cabozantinib was one that, that showed some promise, but I don't know if that's a strong recommendation. We really want to try to get to a trial with one of the new ROS1 inhibitors um, or chemotherapy, also a very good option in that setting. Um, but uh, a question here, at what points do opportunities for biomarker retesting arise to find out if there's been a change in the cancer? And so when do you retest, Dr. Nice? Yeah, so when there's progression or when, when something doesn't make sense, when all the areas are improving, but there's this one spot that's left, is that even the same cancer? So those are times when I consider a rebiopsy. Um, and this can be through liquid as well. Uh, and so I think that we're generally reserving it for at the time of, of progression or some growth, some sign that the cancer has evolved in some way. Here's a question. Do some patients respond better to procetinib versus selpercatinib? We don't really have that information. Uh, those trials haven't been done. I find that the response rates to both are very high. Um, I think the drugs are, are much more similar um, than different. 